At least one late night burglar steals cash and safes from four Frisco restaurants. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. Breaking news from Frisco, where at least one thief stole $1,500 cash and several safes from four Main Street restaurants early this morning. Frisco PD confirms the burglaries happened between midnight and 3 a.m. when a suspect in dark hoodie and face mask broke into the restaurants with a crowbar. About $850 cash was taken from the Uptown on Main. Cash and safes were stolen from Highside Brewery, Silver Heels, and and Tavern West. Matt Spaulding, general manager at the Uptown. You know, we all just got our ass kicked for the past two weeks, and then some guy just is like, we're going to come in, and your hard work the past two weeks doesn't mean anything. I'm going to take your money. Spaulding says the cash was stolen from a back office where it was not in a safe. We don't have a safe because we don't keep that much cash here for kind of things like this. Crystal 93 reviewed security footage from the Uptown. Here's what it shows. 12.55 a.m., he goes in our back door, sees our camera and knocks it a couple times so you can't see him. Then he, one minute later, goes into our office and he looks up at the camera because it's motion detector, so the light turns on. So then he knocks the camera down. Does Spalding think the timing of these crimes is tied to the holidays? It's It makes sense. Everyone has a bunch of money now. No word on what was inside the stolen safes from other restaurants. Contact Frisco PD if you saw anything suspicious between midnight and 3 a.m. today. This past weekend was the busiest on I-70 since early August, as more than 154,000 cars passed through both sides of the Eisenhower Tunnel Friday through Sunday. That's 20,000 more cars than the weekend after Christmas, and good for three-and-a-half-hour traffic one way from Denver to Summit. If you went skiing, you felt it on the slopes. Cars in Vail were spilling out onto the frontage road Friday, and some skiers at Copper spent 45 minutes going less than a quarter mile Saturday from the I-70 exit ramp to the Alpine parking lot. Summit County Planning Director Don Reimer is jumping ship for Frisco. The town recently hired Reimer as its Community Development Director, Frisco's second highest paid position, second only to Chief of Police. Most recently, Reimer has overseen projects at Copper and Keystone and Frisco's ongoing Lake Hill development on Dam Road. He also led the county's short-term rental permitting program. Two skiers had close calls with avalanches yesterday, both on the Continental Divide. One happened at Coon Hill on a southeast aspect in a chute, where tracks show at least one skier either took a ride or came very close. That slide was reported by an observer who saw the tracks and debris after it occurred. The other happened at Loveland Pass on an easterly aspect above Pass Lakes. That one broke six feet deep in wind slab, stepping down to the dirt. No one was caught or buried. Forecasters recommend avoiding all wind-drifted slopes today and tomorrow after after today's gusty high winds. In sports, the Avalanche play the Islanders today at 5 p.m. The Nuggets play the Hawks at 5.30. And in local sports, brought to you by Wilderness Sports in Dillon, Tigers hockey lost to Mullen over the weekend 5-2. All Summit High sports are off today, back tomorrow when girls basketball plays Evelyn away. Tomorrow it's race 5 of the A-Basin Rise and Shine Rando Series. Racers leave at 7 a.m. from the Village. Sign up at 6 a.m. at the Village or arapahobasin.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.